Look, part of what happened yesterday was that the Titans fell behind quickly. I mean, it was 17-0 just a couple minutes into the second quarter, which really changed that game script. So it was hard for them to get the run game going. Henry had a couple of nice runs in the second half, but that game was really out of hand. The good news is, though, he had three targets, which, you know, just the 13th time in 79 career games, he's had three or more targets. So maybe they're including him in the passing game. That would that'd be a plus if that's actually happening. Yeah, all right, so Derrick Henry. Uh, but you have it. Uh, there's still a possibility to panic, Marcus, because Brandon Ayuk, uh, what are we doing, panic or patience? I think we're pushing the panic button for Brandon Ayuk. <laughs> Wait, why, is there, why, why is it techno? <laughs> oh, uh, but, uh, you know, there's something that, that really kind of caught me off guard with Brandon Ayuk. I mean, one, we thought he was going to be very much involved in the 49er offense, but instead... We saw Trent Sherfield out there. Then afterwards, the reports were it was a bit of a hamstring injury that was lingering. Plus, Sherfield outplayed Ayuk uh, in the last week or so before the season started during practice. Ayuk got on the field, but most of his snaps were in the second half when that game was really out of hand. So it's not over, but this was definitely not the way we wanted things to start. All right, so you know, people are in the streets uh, dancing, but also very terrified of how things are going to go. Uh, let's talk about Ezekiel Elliott. Marcus, are we hitting this button? Uh, I'm, I'm more on the panic side, so just because I want fun music, let's, let's hit the button. Oh, there it is. We got siren going on for this one. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I think in the long term, he'll still be worth that high pick you spent on him. But uh, I think what we saw on Thursday might be a blueprint of how the season goes. The Cowboys didn't force the run against a good run defense. And really what was more surprising was how much we saw Tony Pollard. He had seven, seven touches compared to 13 for Zeke. So it may be that they really want to incorporate Pollard a little bit more. And that, in the long run, is a little bit concerning considering the draft capital you had to spend to get Zeke on your roster. All right, so get out there. Uh, start buying all of the products that you're not going to use. Uh, but you <laughs> just, just need to panic. Uh, all right, let's get to Najee Harris. We spent a lot on the rookie. Marcus, are we showing patience or are we smashing the button? No, nah, we're not smashing the button. We're going to be patient on this one. You know, look, the thing about Najee is that the opportunity was absolutely there the way we thought it was going to be. He played 100% of the Steelers' offensive snaps, the first running back to do that since Christian McCaffrey back in 2019. 16 carries, three targets. They are using him at a very high rate like we anticipated. So you just have to be patient. The yards, the touchdowns will come eventually.